Hey, my name is Mike, and in this video, I'll be showing you five of the best tools you can use to automate your Shopify store, to build a store that's basically running itself, not having to hire people, not having to spend hours and hours of your time. With all of the software on the internet right now, there are so many tools to choose from, so I'm gonna boil down the five best ones that we think you should be using on your store, or at least considering implementing. It's worth trying these ones out. By the way, if you're new to Shopify, we have a link in the description that can save you some money with an extended trial period. So it's $1, I think, for three months. So we'll have that link in the description below. Get started through that link. It can support the channel. It can also save you some money. In addition to that, we have links to all of these five tools down below. Sometimes they're .com, .co, .io, whatever. All of the links down there so you guys can check it out after this video and learn more about each one of these tools through those links. I'll put it in a pinned comment too because sometimes YouTube likes to like really hide the description. So without wasting any time, let's get right into the list in no particular order. Starting off at number five, this is Shopify Flow. I think it would be really incomplete to make a video like this without mentioning Shopify flow. It's a really powerful tool that allows you to kind of connect a lot of things and automate a lot. Like that's literally what it's meant to do is automate tasks. Whether you are managing inventory, you can make an automation that checks for fraud on orders so you don't ship things out and end up losing money. You could also make kickoff email campaigns, or maybe a really big one would be just to make a review and a loyalty program. So you want people to join your loyalty program. Shopify flow is a really easy way to do that. And the benefit here is that it is really well integrated and you can access nearly any data point you have within Shopify, not just when purchases were done. Now, there's two ways you can go about implementing these. One is you could use the pre-made templates, and there are a lot of custom templates out there that I always generally like to look at those first, just saves a lot of time. Somebody else already built it, and more times than not, it, it solves the problem I have. But if you need to make one yourself, you can also make that with three basic steps. So the first thing is going to be the trigger. You choose what event is actually going to start the process here, start this automation. That's your trigger. The second thing is going to be the conditions. So you could say if certain criteria are met, then you're going to proceed. So you have those two things there. And the third thing is going to be the action. Once you choose those three, which like I said, is very easy to do, but you know, obviously a template is going to be easier. But once you choose those three, you can basically do anything you want as an automation just with Shopify flow. So super powerful, really easy to connect a lot of different apps. That's why that one comes in at number five. Moving on to number four, this one's called Clavio. And this is a lot more focused on SMS and email campaigns. And it's really a powerful tool because unlike most other ones out there, this can make a lot of automations and there's a really nice flow chart to it, a nice path. So you can customize way more than other ones. So rather than what some people call batch and blast, where you just make one email campaign and send it out to everybody and hope it works, you can make much more tailored ones based on who's purchasing more, what the average spend is, and all different things like that. So the app makes a complete customer profile, including things like preferred channels, order history, browsing history, product preferences, and like much, much more than that. That, and it can do two things with this. One is making predictions for when that potential customer might make their next purchase, which could better time when you'd send them a sale or, or something else to really incentivize them knowing that they're ready to buy. And the second thing it can do is essentially group people together in what they call segmentation. And when you make these segments of, for example, high value customers, or maybe frequent customers, or people that just put in their cart a lot, but usually don't end up making a purchase, like you can make these segments, these groups of customers, and then you can send out email campaigns to those independent segments. and each email campaign can have something very different in the text. So for example, if you have a group that you know buys very regularly, or maybe you have a group that just like they put it in their cart, but they don't actually make the purchase, they'd like to really think about it, you could then send them an email or an SMS for that matter. And that could be maybe a discount code, it could be something else to tell them like, hey, this sales running out of time. And so you can really cater it based on different profiles. And that should really be improving your, your sales. Now, the benefit of this, as most people already know, is that this is basically free marketing, right? Like these are people people that you know are very interested, you don't have to pay for TikTok ads to access these people because they already purchased from you in the past or otherwise they signed up for your SMS or your email marketing campaigns. Now, as far as making the content you send out, for one, you have templates, which is very nice. You could choose from a template that's been proven to work and really implement it with very little effort. But secondly, it is basically a drag and drop editor. So it's easier to make these. They can be static or dynamic. So you have a lot of flexibility in how they look and how they appear when they show up on a phone, on a desktop, whatever, uh, depending on your campaign. And probably the last thing I need to mention for Clavio is that they have something called smart sending, which essentially allows you to send out emails and, and it knows for each independent user when they're most likely to open it within about a 12 hour window. And so smart sending will deliver to all of them at different times. So it's not like all the way at the bottom of their inbox, or if it's not like, you know, going like it's, you don't want to text them when they're sleeping and then they wake up and they have like 30 text messages and they're not going to find the one from you. That's smart sending a very powerful tool there. Moving on to number three, this one you might have heard of before. This is called automatic 
wisely, but they also have Aftership now too. So if you've looked up any lists in the past, Aftership is a really common one, a very popular one. And this can do a lot of like a whole host of different things. Automizely has really been kind of acquiring different softwares out there as well as building their own tools as well. So you have pop-ups and forms here. You've got reviews, you have AI product recommendations, you have TikTok shop feed management, and you have affiliate marketing tools on here as well as referral programs. And that's really the big one that I like that I wanted to recommend this for. So one of the ways you can automate your marketing is essentially by having a referral program or having an affiliate program. And those are, it's a really subtle distinction there. Affiliate is really going to be ideal for if you want social media to kind of, or like you want influencers to promote it, then they're going to be sharing your affiliate links. That's a great way to not have to do a lot of outreach. They could just sign up for your program. They can promote your products. They can get paid for that, a commission. And it's just driving sales to you with very, very little effort from you. The second thing being the referral program. And that's really a great one for your customers. A lot of times customers do the best marketing for you. If they like the product, if you have a good product that you're selling on Shopify, then those customers can go and they're, they're probably going to tell their friends about it anyway. But if there's a referral program, one, it incentivizes them to tell more friends. And two, it makes them go through the link and actually like text the link to their friends rather than just saying, hey, I bought this thing. I really like it. Well, now that there's a referral program that they're going to get maybe five or ten dollars, maybe some discount code or something like that, they're way more likely to send that link and then their friend is going to get the link, which makes them more likely to actually purchase. That brings us to number two on this list. And this one is very different in that you're not automating specific parts of your store. You're automating the entire building of your store. This is probably the coolest tool I'm going to show you in this entire video. And essentially it allows you to take a screenshot from another website or just copy and paste the URL. And then this uses artificial intelligence to just remake that entire website for you section by section. And then you can choose which sections you want in your store. And the best thing is you can do this with many different websites. So for example, if I really like this one from bite toothpaste bits.com, uh, maybe I like a couple sections of this, and maybe I like something from all birds and something from Groons. I can take like different sections from all of them without having to go and build them. Because let's be honest, everybody who makes a website, you're always inspired by other websites. You're going to go around looking at other websites. So taking inspiration and just pasting it in like this saves you a ton of effort because it's going to literally give you the exact same thing that was on that website made in Shopify in, in a page builder called gem pages here. And once you have that, you can customize it, you can move them around and it saves just a huge amount of work. But like I said, you don't have to just paste in links. You could also take screenshots. So you could maybe use Figma and draw out like what you want the website to look like and then just take an, an image from that and, and put it over and paste it in here. And again, it can build an, a really interactive website based on that. And it's from my experience, really, really impressive. In addition, you have far more page building tools than the Shopify default editor. So it's nice. You can add some more things on here. You can have videos playing in the background. You can overlay different things. Like it's really quite impressive. And so gem pages, it's definitely worth checking out. Even if you don't end up using it, at least like check out their promo video or something. It could definitely save you a lot of time. And that brings us into number one, the last one on this list, again, in really no particular order, but this one is Zapier. If you've ever used Zapier basically for any part of a business, you would know it's a really powerful tool that connects and integrates with basically every software out there. So really where I would see this being used is if you had a blog or any type of organic content you're making for your online store, then you would be doing this probably with Zapier it would be a really great way to hire somebody. Uh, you have them maybe uploading articles to Google Drive, and then you can have an automation on Zapier that says whenever a new document shows up in this Google Drive folder, move it over here, send it as an email campaign, do this other thing, make a social post about that article, publish it as uh, like a either publish as a draft or actually publish it as a blog post. Like you can create these really intricate automations using Zapier and it could be a great way to basically be your personal assistant or your sidekick, your marketing assistant that just does all these little tasks for you automatically when one person you hired like puts something in a Google Drive folder, for example. The same thing could be done with uh, content as well. So if you film a video or if you hire somebody to film a promotion and then they put that in a Google Drive folder, so if they do something else, you can have a whole string of things that happen. Happen. If you post something on Instagram, you can have another automation that, you know, retweets that on Twitter or sends out an email campaign. Like it's really intricate. You could make an entire course just talking about different automations you can do with Zapier. So those are the five that we recommend. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you have any other recommendations, any other tools you really like to use, please leave them in a comment below. Again, I'm Michael Bryan with Santrell Media. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.